Now let's use the same data to test the hypothesis of a treatment effect not assuming equal variance. Again, this refers to the population variances after treatment. So, if we don't have enough evidence or don't have enough reason to think that these population variances or standard deviations would be the same after the individual treatments, we can still run this hypothesis test, but it would require using a different menu item in Jump. We'll still use Analyze Fit Y by X and still enter the same columns into the same roles. So, group will be as our X factor and millimeters of mercury will be our Y response. We'll get the same dot plot but this time, we're going to select a different option. We'll select, instead of means, ANOVA, pool, T, simply t-test. t-test and jump will run the equal variances not assumed test. This will give us a very similar output with a t-test section. Again, we'll get the mean difference between our groups. This will be unchanged. No matter what we assume about the population standard deviations, the difference observed in our samples is the same. Next, we'll get the standard error of the difference, a t-ratio, and notice a slightly changed degrees of freedom. In this case, our degrees of freedom are fractional. We'll come back to why this is the case, but for now, know that degrees of freedom are capturing how much independent information we have in our samples. By not assuming equal variances, we actually give up a little bit of our independence in information. Finally, we have our familiar two-tailed p-value, which we can always interpret in the same way. In this case, our interpretation didn't change by not assuming equal variances. Our p-value is still less than our customary value of significance, an alpha of 0.05. So, we're still rejecting the null hypothesis. Given a population mean difference of 0, it would be unlikely for us to observe this mean difference of 3.56. So, we're rejecting the null. We can say that the treatment had an effect. So, going forward, to perform the independent measures t-test and jump, we'll still use the same platforms regardless of whether we assume the variances are equal in the population or not. Once we're in fit y by x, it's a matter of whether we select means, ANOVA, and pool t, or whether we select t-test.